Hello everyone, Agent Gold here, and welcome back to Let's Play It'll Do. Uh, when I left off last time, I'd just gotten back from getting the Ice Wand and gathered up the rest of my stuff. Now, I left a few puzzles in here unfinished, which I'm going back for now because it'll be a little easier with the Fire Sword in tow. Call me a cheater if you must. And then we'll be going on to do the bonus dungeon that's in this area. Now the bonus dungeon is going to take up most of our time here, uh, so I'm just going to, once I'm done with this puzzle, I'm just going to fast travel over to the other one so it'll just be like a moment for you guys. Um, now if I was going to finish this puzzle as intended, I would have to light my stick on fire then put the fire out because this gate is based on that fire, so it would be light, put out, and then break, break, break. And this is the deal with that ghost. It, it makes it that much creepier when you think about what happens when it comes over top of you. Where suddenly it can feel emotion while it's on you, like it's trying to steal that part of you or something. It's crazy. Anyway, fast traveling over. And here we are. So now I can afford to just put this fire out so it's not in my way. And one by one, I can go about freezing these guys and then hitting them with the fire sword. And this is what feels so powerful about having this combination of items. You can very easily destroy a lot of enemies this way. Not that one, but, well, he dies in one hit to the fire sword anyway, so it's not a big deal. And that leaves us here at the compost crypt. Actually, I can go ahead and peek at this staircase just to show you guys. This is like a one-way area. You can see the treasure chest. Um, so it'll be where we come out from. So if we come in here, all you'll find in here is a lousy achievement. But I'm willing to find that achievement with you guys watching. Because there's a bit of lore going on in here, interestingly enough. So let's start off simple, light these torches, and on our way. Okay, the ice wand doesn't work against creatures in this dungeon, which makes them a little bit tougher than average. So I need to press these three buttons. That means I need two of these blocks. Or no, actually I only need one of these blocks because I have my portal wand with me. So we can just kind of smash our way into here, get a block and then press the other two switches on our own. I do like these puzzles just because they make such good use of the power that you have having all the items. Uh, uh, peel me. These enemies, uh, these rotten turnip things, they come right for you, they take a lot of hits to bring down. But if you stand off in a corner and wait for them to come to you and then just swing like mad, you can take care of them reasonably enough. I would freeze them and then hit them if I could, but, you know, Ice Wand doesn't work on these enemies. Um, it's kind of interesting, you can see the confetti that's on the ground and in these little uh, broken bits of earth where the graves are. These are turnips who had died and came back as zombies. And that may be the weirdest thing I have seen in quite some time. So, we can see in here that there's uh, some conflict between Lich's turnip and deer Jenny. Um, I cannot press these buttons, all three, from this direction, but if I come in the other way, I can use that block to help me. So let's go this way, and I can't get at those guys in the carts, uh, so I just gotta press all these, um, crystals while avoiding everything. Thankfully, those ones stay turned on for a good long while. Now we're in another undead turnip room. 
three hits, it looks like, with the fire sword to get rid of these guys. And to get in there, I just have to light the torches. These guys are kind of in the way, so I am going to take them out as I'm going. Uh, since the Lich's turn up is, well, a Lich, he can revive himself indefinitely. So it makes sense that he figures he and his army can come back after being defeated. Get your own secret room. Okay, I'm going into this one. The enemies will help you across. So this is uh, certainly a cool thing to do. I want to go over there. I can put a portal block over there. But I have to let these guys reflect my portal beam back at me to get me across. So now I can press these buttons, and that actually opens the next door going forward. So this is good, we're making progress. And... Okay, cool. This is actually the first room we came in through, so... Couldn't get through this door before, let's go forward. Seems that even if they can't be uh, defeated by uh, basically making them unable to keep going, their spirits can still be broken. They cannot want to keep going. Okay, so that looks like I'm supposed to come out that door and um, step on the switch from there, but I believe I can press it from here. Yes, yes, I certainly can. We're gonna need this block. And we're gonna need to push one of these across there, you see. And then we can freeze this one and push it to where that block is. Then make another portal block and press the button with it. That's a slick trick, and it will come in handy with a few of the game's different puzzles. Oh. I guess I still need to actually do this. I'm sure I'll be going through that door shortly, but for now, let's go this way. Secret Secrets always come first, you know? I believe the shield that uh, Jenny Deer uses actually belonged to Lich's Turnip. And it was, uh... The ice block is the final key. I imagine that's for one of these upcoming rooms. So that guy again! Um, okay, think fast. Um... I said fast. <laughs> um, so if I press that button, it'll open that door, which I believe is helpful for me. Um, but no, what was I going to say? Um, which is Turnip lost his shield to Jenny Deer in their conflict. Okay, yeah, yeah, I see what I need to do now. It's, uh, it's the same kind of trick that I did before. We're going to slide this block into a portal block, and then slide a portal block to it. I, uh, I suppose I may have surprised people a little bit the first time that I just froze a portal block and pushed it, but it's one of the cool things that you can do. One of the cool ways that the items work together. This game doesn't have very many items to it, but the fact that they can work together and they can do interesting things together is what makes it so cool. Like, there's another trick I'm thinking of right now that I'm not going to show you until I need it. Ah! Turnips! I see a heart. Okay, okay. I feel reasonably comfortable now. Okay, so this is where the ice block is the final key. Because I can press two buttons, 
but I need that ice block. So if I come through this door, which isn't locked now, then I can push the block from this side and uh, deal with the turnips again. But at least this time I have kind of a safe spot to fight them from, I say as they hit me again. Something about uh, standing in a corner and swinging a sword at everything that comes to my way that comes my way just kind of speaks to me. I I can connect with it'll. Okay. Oh, it's a room full of these cactuses, which I would love to be able to just freeze them and hit them. But these are undead cactuses, and they can't get frozen. Oh, it came to life without me wanting it to. What am I doing? They, I, it's, I'm supposed to use the same strategy against these guys. They slow down, they're about to shoot spikes. And they don't drop hearts. Nice. Yep. I have to defeat them all. Let's see if I can do it or not. Yeah, normal cactuses don't wake up until you hit them. These ones just do it for getting close. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to try this again, but... Yep, okay. I'll get it this time, don't worry. Uh, fun fact, I believe these cactuses, well, the living versions of them, not these undead ones necessarily, but it was originally a food cactus, which was going to be like dropping food the more you hit it. Maybe food was the original healing items in this game instead of hearts. They, the, the living ones do drop a lot of hearts when you defeat them, but... These ones are just a pain. Oh, and I guess I can't place portal blocks here because I'm on sand. Uh, that's something that I've not really explained too well just yet. Um, a consistent thing in these puzzles is for some odd reason, you can't push blocks onto sand. So you can't make portal blocks on it either, which means I can't use it as a shield for their spikes, as much as that would make life easier. But I guess that was the boss of this area, basically, because here we are at the end. Sheesh! All that work and all we get is a stupid achievement in a chest? Better than nothing, Shorty. Could have been a teaser for a sequel. Well then. Um, I believe, yep, I've got all the secrets in this area, so all of the secrets that are left are in the castle. And now that I have all of the gear, I should be able to find all of them. What could I buy if I had a nickel for all of the times I used the word all in that sentence? Okay, so on the first floor, both the pieces of paper are down here. Um, and there are two cards left to find. Oh, I know where one of those cards is. I, I can take us there right now. So... Let's go to the warp garden. Yep, all that's left is to find the artifact so we can trade it in for the raft. If I go back to this room, the last one where I got treasure, and I come in here... I don't have to defeat these guys, but... Now I can smash my way in and get this chest. With the pancake card! I'm looking for hearts now, because I don't like being at uh, one and a quarter hearts of health. Okay, one card left on the bottom floor, two pieces of paper, and what's on the top floor left? Just one card. And I know right where it is and how to get it, but I don't think I can get it from this side. So, we're going back.
Now if I come up here, here's this old professional shortcut. And now that I've got these items, I can make short work of everything in this area. It's a little late to use it as a shortcut, but... Um... There is a card back there, I believe, so... And Fox Jennies. Always Fox Jennies. Jennies uh, have a sad sort of funniness to how they look when you freeze them. They always look so sad and distraught. But it makes fighting them a lot easier. Here's that card. A crystal card. I have no idea, really. Okay, so I could try to figure my way through here. There's not really a need to do so. That's just one more puzzle to figure out when you're playing on your own. Alright, so let's see here. Where are the remaining treasure chests? They're over on that side of the castle. If I recall correctly, I can only get to those rooms from the upper side of the castle. So I know where I want to go first. So let's get back to that warp garden. It's a little bit quicker. I believe this one takes me where I want to go. Maybe not. Although, now that I have the ice wand, I can go through this door. Get to the stairs that I actually want to go through in the midst of this chaos. Okay, so... There's a cracked wall down there. And there's a single bomb in this area. Now that they're dealt with... Let's do a little preparation. We've got a portal block over there. And then we just light this, warp it over. And it should be a hole in the wall when we get there. So now is the last interesting thing that we can do with the combination of all these items. Because we can make walls reflective, we can warp ourselves from a lot of places. Pancakes, pancakes, pancakes. Not dealing with them. Oh, here's an interesting puzzle. I think this is one that's best if I do a fast step to clear it. Alright. And that's kind of a funny little area. Every enemy in the game in a uh, black floor area, being all friends with each other, I guess. Another piece of paper with one left to go. I think it must be in that room that's got the treasure chest. There's two rooms with treasure chests. Okay, one's got a card, one's got a piece of paper. Let's see what I can do. I should finally be able to go through that door now, which I've been on the other side of it already, but now I can be here no problem. Right, this is the cracked wall that I thought I had to blow through from the other side. Is there a way to get in there? There should be. So that room should be right below me right now. How do I get over there, though? That's the question. I have an idea. Here's another professional shortcut that we can look through in the same area. And I'll just do this one the easiest way that I know how. We'll put a portal block here. Light a bomb, warp it over. This is actually kind of a funny tip. 
Because it's true, when you open a door, you can go through it forever, despite that guy's grammar. So here's an interesting little area. We can see some hieroglyphs on the wall here, wherein it looks like people live somewhere, person has money, and then there's a castle. It'll doesn't get it. I have no idea what this thing is or why its face is in a couple of places, but it's not bothering me. Okay, so now, here's one of the chests. Yeah, it kind of figures this is the one with the card. And, again, all items, puzzles easy. <laughs> But it is part of the shortcut if you're going through uh, trying to get items in a different order, so... How do you get to that last room? Let's uh, warp over there at least, see if I can figure it out. Okay. That figures. It's a door that I can only open from the other side. How do I get there? Oh, I think I see. There's another spot with a shortcut that I can use down there. This puzzle is a little easier when you've got everything. This one, not so much. Well, then again, now that I can do this, why not? That felt good. After fighting those four undead cactuses, that just feels nice to just blow one up. Now, for this area, I've got to get that switch pressed. Which honestly doesn't look that hard to do. I can just put myself over and then... And then this guy gets to be a little bit of a problem. Well, not anymore! You've got different problems now. Okay, so... I don't think I even have to pretend to be interested in what the normal way to solve this room is. These three buttons, eh? So I need one block from over there. What about this one? Also takes three. Okay, well, here's what we'll do. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, we'll push this over here. Get that gate open just for convenience. And then push this up here. And there we go. So this must be the last piece of paper. Awesome. So let's just uh, make our way through here briefly. I only actually need to freeze one of these guys because I have more than just the ice wand. And I'm going to use the warp to take us back to the front door of where the boss is. Okay, so now I have everything I could need and more to go through here. But this is a good spot to leave off for this episode. So next time we'll be going in and facing the final puzzles before the final boss. And then there might be a little bit of extra stuff after that. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.